I've got a camera that's really old. It was introduced in 1946 and it was part of the iconic legendary Kodak Brownie line. And yes, if you don't see it right here, what I'm talking about is the all metal body Kodak Brownie Flash 620. This camera introduced back in 1946 was another generation of the Kodak Brownie for those around anything else. And what I mean by those around anything else is this camera was a Kodak Brownie. It used a 620 film among the earlier generation that used 120 or 616 film. This Kodak Brownie is, uses 620 film and it is actually a really versatile little metal box type camera. And yes, I did say it's a box type camera because the Kodak Brownie 620 is a box type camera. Back in the day, the Kodak Brownie camera allowed those who wanted to take pictures to take pictures and document the process, document time more affordably than it was prior to then. The Kodak Brownie was supposed to be the camera that they gave everybody. And in the past, the model, the first box type camera was given away to kids. And it's called the Brownie. The idea in the marketing ploy for that was to get kids hooked on photography at an early age so that they would continue consistently using Kodak products for the rest of time. This camera is just a very simple camera. It's a flash 620, so you have a flash that mounts to the top, which you'll see in just a moment. And the camera itself is just, it's got a switch. It tells you to load it. The whole base comes out. It's very weird, but we'll look at that in a minute. This Kodak 620 flash uses these weird flash bulbs. They're not like M3 flash bulbs where they were smaller in size. No, these are massive flash bulbs, and these are almost like a standard Edison bulb. And they are standard Edison bulbs, just filled with magnesium, I think. Is magnesium or aluminum inside of it? No, no, no matter. The flash bulb itself, I wouldn't look directly into the light because I put one of these inside of this lamp before just to see if it was the same. And I looked directly into it and I hurt my eyes. Not because I have to wear glasses, but I mean, it left a little bit of like eye burn where you see the little dot for hours on end. I saw it for the next two, three weeks. So don't be stupid. Otherwise, these things are actually pretty hard to come by and it's really cool that this thing uses that. The Kodak Brownie flash holder uses this standard flash holder box. It is in Kodak yellow. And as we open it up here, it uses the standard flash holder which we just drop the bulb into. It looks like you're straight out of the past. So this Kodak Brownie Flash is actually a really nifty little camera. Now, if you know it's in the yellow box, you know it's good. That was the motto that Kodak had, and it was the Kodak company's known way of making sure that people knew that what they were buying was Kodak. Well, this camera is actually really, really spunky little thing, and... I hate to not have it. It's it's a good addition to my little camera collection that I have, and I'm a huge Kodak guy. Hey, what's up, Brownie? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just a little camera. I like to take pictures. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some batteries inside this flash holder, see if it works, and maybe fire off one of these super incredibly bright flash bulbs so you can get a reference point of how how bright it really is. Because I'm preparing for class right now, and I'm almost about to go into class, and I'm filming this before class, we're going to burn off one of these flash bulbs. Now, these are really hard to come by, so I have the opportunity to shoot one and have fun with it. Now, it uses the GE Photo Lamp number 22 bulbs, as well as the Weston House number 22 bulbs, and they're in their ancient packagings. Well, let's... Let's burn one. I attach the flash to the camera. I'm going to put another AA battery on the other, facing the opposite direction. Now we're going to stick the bulb in. And I don't know how many times I'm going to do this until this bulb flashes, but I'm going to just stand back and close my eyes, and we are going to fire. Three, two, one. Did you see how bright that was? That was incredibly bright. Well, 
Now that we've burned a flash bulb and I've shown you it, now let's go into an overview of the camera and I'll show you all there is to do. This is the Kodak Brownie 620 camera. So for the camera, this is a very simple camera. First of all, it's made in the USA as it's stamped. And these holes right here, if you don't know what they are, these holes are actually for the flash attachments, which I'll show you in a second. Now, you do have the option between bulb, which you have to hold the shutter button down, or instant, when the shutter just releases for a second. Now, here's that switch I told you. You have the ability to switch back and forth with a little close-up lens. Right here on the top is your viewing window, so that's your viewfinder, your shutter buttons on the top, and then your film winder. There really isn't much to it besides this piece here, which you pull down, and mind you, this is kind of tough to pull, and you're able to set it down like this to give you kind of like a, a vertical image. Now, if we spin it down to the bottom, you have a tripod mount, a full metal body on the bottom, and you have the film door opening or the release for the film. So you can put film in it. On this side, you just have that little mount. And then on the top, as said, you do have your shutter button, your film winder. You have two little hooks to carry it. And right here is the best thing, your shutter lock. It allows you to not take the picture, and then that allows you to not accidentally snap the shutter. This is the brownie flash holder attachment. Now, this flash holder attachment is actually kind of cool, and it's in the original box, because when it's in yellow, you know it's good. Now, let's open up the flash holder box, and inside, what we have is the flash sitting face down. As you can probably see, there's my room, there's the camera. Now, the flash actually is very simple. The flash holder has two battery compartments right here, two AA battery compartments right here. You put the flash bulb, which is actually a pretty large bulb. What you have is these 22 style bulbs, if you remember those, and those just go straight in, just like this, into the flash attachment. To attach the flash to the camera itself, you have these little thumb screws right here. All you do is this. You stick it on the front, tighten the thumb screws, and you're able to take pictures with the flash. It just sits on the camera just like that. There's really not much to this camera. It's very a simple camera. I mean, it's a simple camera. What do you expect? To load the Kodak Brownie 620, you're going to need two 620 film spools or you can use a 120 film spool as your loaded film and a 620 film spool as your take up. Open up the camera. On the bottom you have the little switch here. You pull that and you know it's not going to open. What you do is from the top you pull up and it opens up in one straight motion. So kind of like this. Pull up on the top and the whole unit comes free. Let's set the rest of the camera aside for the moment. Take the new spool, and what I'm gonna do is, usually this will be on this side where the old roll was after you shot it. We're gonna move that over to the take up spool side and lock it into place. I'm going to load the film in to where the loaded film goes, right here. There we go. And then, like a Hasselblad and many other roll film cameras we're going to bring it over the back of the exposure window here because this is what's going to get exposed we're going to look for the large slit load the film into it and then wind it so it grabs some tension just like this okay usually around the first turn i like to wind it to that point what else you're going to do you're just going to drop it back in after the film's been loaded. Being careful not to destroy your film as you're doing that. Drop it straight down, lock it into place. And on the back side, we're just going to wind it. So there's my arrow. And right here, we're going to wind it until we see the number one. But first, we're going to see two little arrows. 
There's one, two. Don't pass it because it comes by really quickly. We see Kodak and then number one. And now we're ready to take our first picture. And that's how you load the Kodak Brownie Flash 620. Well, hopefully this video helps somebody out there. I mean, the Kodak Brownie Flash 620 is an absolutely nice little camera, especially when it was made in for its time. The camera itself is quite old and it shows its wear and tear throughout the years. And I mean, it's a camera. All it does is capture time and emit that time to what is now the next generation in the future, but I mean, all it is is capturing images and it captures it on a little film slit that is made of plastic and will be saved for many many years until somebody feels the need to throw it out and wasteful into the ocean. If it doesn't, I mean at least you get the knowledge of how to use the Kodak Brownie 620 and you can pick them up for about $20. I mean they're not super expensive and the full flash outfit, I mean even mine only cost about $25. So. I mean, it's not a camera that's worth a ton because they made a ton of them. Well, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And check out my channel content for more. And, you know, hopefully we'll go back to being somewhat normal.